Hello everyone. Uh, I'm so pleased to share the word of God today. In connection of last sermon, I am going to teach about the dove types of believers today. When Noah released the raven last time, I said raven did not come back to the ark. It's not because Noah's food was lacking. It's not because raven could not rest it in the ark properly. Raven could not satisfy with the things of the spirit, with the things which Noah prepared in the perfect shield, perfect protection of the ark. Which means raven was not a spiritual type of believer. There are many believers who are trying to pursue their physical desire while they are believing in God and while they are going to church. If you also are the raven type of believer, no matter how you try to satisfy your life, try to get better job, try to expand your territory and build a better house, the more you try to pursue the desire of the flesh, the more you feel emptiness in your heart. Because God designed our human heart to be filled through the spiritual things of God. In other words, when your heart is filled with the Word of God, with the spiritual teachings of God, when you are properly connected with God, that is only the time you can be pleased, you can satisfy your heart. So, amongst many rich people, they still don't satisfy and feel emptiness of their hearts. Why do we feel such emptiness in our hearts? Even though you achieved something you want, even though you have gained the desire what you really pursue, why you cannot satisfy? It is because our heart are designed by God to fill the spiritual things of this world. So if you go to church, if you believe in God, like raven types, raven always hunting the dead cockers. Raven cannot satisfy with the spiritual things of this world. Raven has to go out and eat the carcass. This is how Raven become disconnected from Noah and went out from this ark. But today, I want to introduce different type of the other types of believer. And this, I can say, a true Christian's life. Who is that? Yes, dove type of Christian. Dove types is the one who only looking for the spiritual guidance and spiritual things of this world. When Noah released the dove, dove went out. But when Noah released both raven and dove, Noah had a purpose. What was the purpose of Noah? Yes, Noah wanted to see how much water subsidized. Noah wanted to see the right time for him to go out. That is why with that purpose, Noah released the raven and dove. But raven did not have any interest of Noah's purpose, Noah's will, releasing the releasing her to out to go out of the ark. But dove, dove, she precisely understood what is the reason Noah releasing me out of the ark. So when dove went out. There were carcass and there were so many things of this world. But Dove could not enjoy those things like Raven. Raven were sitting here and there on the dead carcass, busy eating this and that. But Dove could not satisfy with the things of this world. In another word, Dove, she could not satisfy her herself with the things of this flesh, things of this world. Dove, she knew 
no matter how I try to satisfy the thing with the material things of this world, I cannot get a true peace. My true peace is in the ark. I was so happy. I enjoyed all the spiritual food which Noah prepared for me. I cannot eat and enjoy things of this world. These things cannot satisfy me. These things cannot satisfy my stomach. These things cannot make me happy at all. So, Dove went back straight back to the ark when Dove found no place to rest. Dove could not find a place to rest and sit on. But at the same time, Raven was still busy flying to and fro here and there, enjoying her own life out of the ark. What's the difference between Dove and Raven? Dove was the one who always looked for the peace of God, looked for the true guidance of spiritual teachings and guidance by the Noah who is the spiritual leader. So when Dove came back to the ark, Noah took his hands out and received this Dove back to the ark. Yes, Dove found back the place where she is supposed to sit on and rest and be fed. And she could also precisely understand what? The purpose and will of Noah. So when Noah released this dove second time, she went out and took a leaf of a tree. So when she took a leaf, Noah could notice, ah, the water subsidized this much. If we wait a little bit more, we can go out. So dove was used by Noah to check how much water subsidized, which means Noah could use Dove to know what he wanted to know. Noah could send Dove to find out the information what he really wanted to know out of the ark, which means Dove could do the proper and perfect works as a messenger to Noah. Likewise, Dove is a spiritual Christian who belongs to God, who is living according to the desire and purpose of God. Everyone, when God saved us, when God called us, and when God gave us the life, God gave us this life to fulfill His purpose. God has His own will and purpose objective of our lives. Do you know what is that will? As we read the last time, Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7, Jesus taught, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. What is seeking the kingdom of God and His righteousness first? The purpose and the will of God for us to receive salvation through Jesus Christ. And if you understood this true salvation, how we can be saved, how we can become righteous, how we became holy through the works of Jesus Christ, through entering into the ark of the Noah, then Jesus God wants us to preach this gospel for other people. If you received this salvation for free, we are supposed to share this salvation for free for other people who are still suffering without knowing this truth. So the seek kingdom of God and His righteousness first means we have to do the business of God. We have to join His glorious works and will expanding the territory in heaven. What God wants us to do, what God is looking, what God is really want to achieve through us, through our life, 
Do you think God wants you to satisfy the things of this world with the material things of this, this flesh? God is not interested in your physical life. Yes, while you are preaching the gospel, while you are living for the gospel, if you are doing the, these works of God, God will prosper you. God will provide all your needs. Like Jesus taught, do not seek your what to wear, what to eat, what to drink. God is going to add all these things unto you. If you first seek kingdom of God and his righteousness. So for us, God has set his will. When God releases us into this world, when God saved us, there is a purpose of God. What is the purpose of God? Let's read 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 2. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 2 says, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of man, but for the will of God. Here, Bible clearly teaches us we are no longer, we should no longer live the rest of our life in the flesh of the lust of man. Yes, God saved us to follow the will of God. Then, what is this will of God? God wants us to go and expand the territory of the kingdom of heaven and give this salvation and give this righteousness of God and share these teachings of God of the gospel, the, the true teachings of God, to many people of this world. God really wants us to do such works. So, Dove went out, but when came back to the ark with the proper information what Noah wanted to know. What does that mean? This Dove knows what is the will and purpose of Noah. Likewise, if we are belongs to Jesus, if we are belongs to God, we are not going to just satisfy our desire, filling the stomach like raven. Raven was busy trying to look for a carcass from here and there without turning back to Noah, giving him the right information. Likewise, nowadays, God calls us. God saved us through Jesus Christ. But many people still belong to the raven type of believer. They believe in God. They try to do things for the works of God. And they try to follow the commandment of God. But their purpose of doing all these things is what? For their physical life, for their prosperity, for their own purpose, or for their life. If you don't try to follow the will of God, if you don't try to satisfy God, if you don't live according to the teachings and will of God, your life is in vain, no matter how much food or wealth you have secured for yourself. So if you are the dove type of Christian, you are not going to consider how you are going to live prosperous life. You will first set your goals to expand the territory of kingdom of God. Go here and there and preaching the gospel of Christ. So many people will receive this true salvation through you, through the teachings of God and through the teachings of the salvation of God. The purpose of God calling us to live like this dove. When Noah released the dove, he wanted to know how much water subsidized. That was the will of Noah. So dove understood the heart of Noah and precisely delivered all the information what Noah wanted to know. Likewise, spiritual type of Christian, true Christian, are the people who do not 
try to satisfy their own desire of flesh, but live according to the will of God. Live according to what God is pleased. What God is pleased the most. God's purpose is only one. What is that? To every one of us to know and believe in Jesus Christ, and receive salvation, and receive righteousness of God, and receive the holiness of God, so that we can all enter into the kingdom of God. So 2 Peter verse three, chapter 3 verse 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God doesn't want us to judge because of our evil behavior, evil works. God has this long waiting, long suffering for any one of us to repent, to receive salvation. That is why God opened the Noah's Ark for seven days, even after Noah and all the animals entered into the Ark. God gave seven more days for the people of this world could enter in, but no one entered into the Ark. So only Noah and his family could be saved. Such things happen, uh, such things happen in the same manner at the time of Jericho's destruction. God gave enough time for the people of Jericho to come into the Rahab's house, but Rahab's and his, her family only could receive salvation. In this time, many people are interested in the physical life, physical wealth, physical prosperity, they are busy looking for a breakthrough for their physical life. So the purpose of going to church, purpose of believing in God, purpose of doing all the royal works for God is not for us to have a good relationship, proper spiritual life. They all think what? Raven type of Christian think what? If I do this, God will bless my life. If I live like this, God will prosper my life. If I sacrifice myself, God will prosper my family. All their wills are based on their works and behavior. Do you think God is a business man? God is a business person? So if you do this, if you do well, if you be lawyer, I will also help you. Do you think God is a such foolish God? Such low level of God? God is not such a businessman who treats those who are doing good to him. God, he wants to save all the people of this world. So, God is pleased the most in those who are preaching the Jesus Christ, who is spreading what Jesus has done for us, what Jesus really accomplished for all the salvation of this world. This is the purpose and the will of God, everyone. If you live those types of spiritual life, God will bless everything unto you. If you first seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness, everything shall be added unto you. This is a promise of God. If you believe in that, first I want to tell you and recommend you to properly connected with God and His righteousness and His perfection, His holiness. So when you receive all this righteousness, holiness and perfection of God, having the Spirit of God, go out and spread this gospel of Christ. Go and visit your friend, your family, your relatives, everyone. You should preach this gospel of Christ so that you have to save them spiritually. You have to confirm their salvation so that God can add, help, provide everything for your life. So I hope you can build this proper, true spiritual life like a dove so that you can do 
what God wants through you. So while you are living the life according to the purpose of God, God is going to use you abundantly as his servant and God will bless your life or other physical things of this world. I hope you could receive blessing through this raven and dog types of two different types of believer. I hope all of you can live dog types of spiritual life. Thank you.